Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be BSL Season 15 Hasu League Round of 8. Do Life versus Fisheye Game 3. 3 o'clock location. Do Life starting as the very fetching green Terran. Bottom left hand corner. We have Fisheye starting as the brown Protoss. This is going to be on Longinus, which has this pretty wide natural expansion. I feel like this suits Siege Tanks and Dragoons, things with range that can fire over that ramp. Game two, Fisheye winning out. For a moment there, I thought he was going to, to to end up costing himself the match just because he wasn't keeping up with his macro. But turning it back, turning it back around, able to continuously apply that pressure and close it out in an exciting one. There was action all over the map. I wish I could see more Gladiator matches in BSL. I get why players don't like playing it. It is frustrating having to go in and out of vision like that. But at the same time, it makes exciting matches. Gateway interior to base for Fisheye this time. This is a three-player isometric map. Supply Depot along that edge for Dewlife. Kind of interesting positioning there. Not sure I've seen this particular Barracks Supply Depot positioning. Marines can go ahead and pocket in between here, but this does leave a little bit of room for that Zealot to wander around if an initial Zealot is produced and opts to get aggressive. Usually that is the case in these matches, however. Refinery being tacked down. On Longinus as well, I'm going to do another quick map reveal. I feel like this could play towards Dulife's advantage with a lot of the mid-ground because oftentimes this match is about a fight over the mid-ground. And whoever has position there oftentimes opens up additional resources. So knowing Dulife tends to play a little bit more aggressive in the early game might favor him in that first Zealot wandering out on the map with the initial probe. Looks like a Nexus being grabbed immediately behind this for Fisheye, before Cybernetics Core even. So this is almost like a, this is like a modification on a 14cc practically. This is about as economically aggressive as you can get without going 14, without opening up Nexus first. Gateway single zealot. Cybernetic score. Do life gonna be able to wander across and spot it though? Wandering in from there. <clears throat> single SCV on gas. Supply depot. I'm actually shocked that Fisheye is opting to go a little bit more defensively like this. So now let's see how this plays out. See so yeah, a zealot has to back off. So Marine's just kind of using this little box, it looks like, is like they're as though it were a bunker. And the Zelt taking enough damage that he's going to go ahead and back off. Waiting for the probe actually to rejoin. Probe getting some good damage on that back Marine. Is he going to get a kill? Not quite. The Zelt exiting out from there. SAV going for, actually, yeah, going battle probe right there. And Machine shop tacked down. 3 SCV back on gas. And yeah, this if I was Dulife, I would definitely tack down another factory and just get aggressive, especially considering how much damage was done. And it looks like the SCV taking off already with the four Marines. Siege tank being produced, mines being upgraded. Is he just going to hold up front? Because it looks like he's just going to hold up and go ahead and grab that natural, drop the bunker there. So it looks like he got the SCV kill. So ignore me. Three SCV still on gas, though. So interesting play. You like keeping the three SCV on gas. Still putting down the bunker at the natural expansion. Is he just... I'm wondering if this is just a build order mistake here, or he didn't pull the SCV off to get that Nexus faster, or if he's trying to telegraph. I assume not, though, because he's showing everything as though he wants to grab the natural here. The Dragoon peeking in, seeing whether that natural expansion has been grabbed yet or not. Big economic lead for Fisheye. And an even bigger lead because Do Life playing it a little bit longer 
as far as, like, it's going to be a while before he gets the minerals, so getting a second siege tank out. Yeah, he's going to push this, though. He's just trying to telegraph. So he's got eight marines out. This is a rush I don't think I've ever seen. So eight marines. Two siege tanks. And this could be clever because the extra marines actually shred dragoons pretty rapidly. And so... The Marines being on delay might give Fisheye an idea that, okay, I'm not going up against that much. Shield battery being dropped, the natural expansion is going to have four Dragoons. Siege tech just finishing. And do life doing do life things. Huge amount of Marines pressing in. Tanks sieging short. The Marines need to be very careful they don't get dragged into their own mine. Grouping. Siege tanks slowly stepping forward. They're going to be able to wipe out that shield battery very rapidly. Fisheye behind this is tacking on a third gate. He's only got two to defend with currently. And no shuttle in production as well. Zealots pressing forward. Mine drag able to take out two marines and a vulture on the front. And a, almost another mine drag. Probes pulling off. To mix it up with everything else. Siege tank to the north wiped out. The marines being taken out by the probes. And the vultures cleaned up otherwise. So Fisheye with a magnificent defense. The bunker finishes but there are no marines. To plant in it. And so with that. Able to take. Loses a dragoon for two mines. But at least pressed out. So that is going to be a huge economic. Delay for do life. Like to. For a long period, I'm like, okay, is he going for a second factory or and going for a dedicated push or not? Now has left one SCV, and kind of it's the reverse problem now, where he needs to get the SCV back on gas. But Fisheye holds. Already has the observatory whirling. Sizable economic lead in the four probes off of that natural expansion up for a considerable period of time. And yeah, now do life needs to think about how long can I keep a third out of do life's or sorry out of Fisheye's hands? Four gateways online, Citadel of a Dune already plopping down, and Fisheye off to the races. Maybe a starport at this stage because do life's got to do something to get back in this match. Upgrading plus one weapons, just now adding a second factory. Also planning down turrets just in case. I don't know why he's planning down turrets, to be honest. I think maybe he's like, okay, well, maybe I, I have to respect Reavers. Respect Dark Templar. But I think at this stage, maybe skip the turrets just to... You're already economically behind. Just play defensively. And maybe keep it a little bit more, I don't know. So the turrets also eating into additional resources... That do life could utilize. Looks like the dragoons. This is one thing for that has been beneficial for do life is his fisheye. It seems like all series long has had trouble with his dragoon positioning and those mines. The observer actually even going to be able to wander up and get eyes. Looks like do life's plan at this stage is to just shell up, go for plus two weapons, plus one armor, and hope he can manage the game from there. Third base now coming online. Or I should say, third place plopping down. Four Fisheye. Stargate behind this. And he's going to have these Arbiters out so rapidly that... If he wants to go for recall first, I believe he has the option to do so. Not that he needs to get aggressive. It's going to be up to do life. To make something happen. To slow Fisheye's economy down. Fisheye with a... Huge supply lead, a decent tech lead, and really good position right now. Still just a two factory count, science facility plopping down. It looks like we do have a control tower. Yeah, that's the one thing I could see maybe as a disruption is just sneaking some vulture. This is a pretty droppable map, although fisheye with the pylon placement to the wall to have some vision there. But if he can sneak some vultures into the main maybe, looks like fisheye already anticipating this. 
with a cannon at his main. Do life dropping the comm set, confirming that the third base is online and operational. Second comp sat, just checking the tech, isn't going to be able to find the Arbiter that is already in production. But Fisheye's got to feel great in the situation he's in. In fact, he has the option to just go ahead and meander up and grab his fourth if he desires to do so. Or play from there. Do life, plus one weapons coming online, immediately attacking on plus two weapons. Second armory is not around. Sorry, second armory is hidden behind that natural. He's building that command center. I think he's just hoping that Fisheye is not going to get aggressive and deny him this third because he doesn't have much of an attack trooping. What, six siege tanks? To stop Dragoons from pushing up and harassing here. Looks like Fisheye, however, concentrating more on grabbing his fourth than being frustrating and denying this third. Potentially a misstep in that regard. So do life, and he, he had eyes to see it, and actually it looks like that observer... Yeah, gonna take... Tack takes some damage. Vulture's out on the map. As well. So Fisheye... Yeah, this is just tends to be his playstyle. Play a little bit more passively... More economically aggressively. I am a little bit sad that he wasn't more aggressive in holding this mid-game plateau. Because that's allowing these vultures to kind of sneak out. And that does pose a threat. Particularly at this mineral only. Even with the two cannons, they can dive in. And we've seen Dulife's micro at rapidly clearing these bases. However, Fisheye still with a solid economic lead. Six factories coming online now for Dulife. So this is going to be plus two weapons, plus one... Armor press. However, I believe there's going to be plenty of Arbiters and plenty of troops, theoretically, for Fisheye to go ahead and stomp this. Although his gateway count, considering he's got four bases, a little bit low. He's got six online and a seventh coming online momentarily. Still with a 33 supply lead. Dragoon's now pressing forward. Go ahead and clear out the vultures from that mid-map location. I do like Dulife's little construction wall to the north, making that third a little bit more defensible. But four base Protoss versus three base Tyrion, and Protoss got that big economic jump. Vultures streaming across are going to find some probes that are not Amongst that cannon defense, cannons warping in, but this is where we've seen two life dudes. Just look at this micro. So, despite three cannons, just shreds probes. And hats off to him. Because, wow, clearing this entire base out, and all of a sudden with the worker lead. And we saw this in the previous game as well. Just fantastic micromanagement. Does not even care. Completely wiped out all of the probes from this bottom right hand base. And with that, do life actually ahead in the worker count, taking on his seventh factory, and in a position to go ahead and do his aggressiveness as plus two weapons, plus one armor, finishing. Huge siege tank count. Fisheye has a big supply lead, however, but it's not positioned out on the map. Kind of, he's got pockets of troops here, pockets of troops there. Looks like he's going to try to sneak an expansion at that 1 o'clock location. Ah, 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock location. That should get scouted. Vultures again sweeping in to the 3 o'clock now and obliterating this probe line. And look how rapidly Do Life wipes out everything there. You can tell he's practiced that. So shutting down two mining bases in rapid succession... Looks like probes would Im were immediately retransferred for Fisheye. But still, great clearage. So do life evening up the worker count. Actually, with that, getting in a, a, a really good supply position. Two science vessels out. But a recall in the main. I missed it. The armory taken down.
Sneaking all the way to the north. Looks like an EMP drop, but it's going to be a while before troops are able to get back here. Not a lot of SEVs to kill. But that armory takedown was huge. Not a lot of infrastructure. Looks like it's going to get wiped out. As do life quickly sweeping through. It looks like mostly vultures just going to be able to... A lot of vultures and siege tanks going to be able to clear this out. Probes being assailed as vultures in between. But good amount of supply depots wiped out. That is putting do life in the red. As fisheye is able to establish that 1 o'clock base. Been a little bit sloppy with my uh, camera work today. Try to be on top of it here. Double starport. Sorry, double stargate rolling. Dragoons going ahead and clearing out mines with their lives. Between the north. Fisheye looking at five bases. And the natural expansion is still looking pretty solid. He, he's evacuated his main. So that's kind of a follow-up base he can grab if he wants. Versus just the three bases from Dulife. Dulife shelling up. And are we going to see another recall towards the main? I assume yes, because this looks like a big pocket of units. Two turrets there. Not in time. Big recall. A f the mine's not in position. Arbiter gets wiped out, but this is a huge attack force right on top of the factory lines as well. Dragoons getting annihilated, though, by siege tanks that were still in position. Regardless, this is pinning Dulife into his base. He's flooding out with some more vultures. He's able to clean up that recall, but he's still been pinned back. His main is mined out. He's still on two bases. He's got a pretty sizable bank. But doesn't seem like he's in any position to go ahead and move out and grab an additional base. As Fisheye close to 200. Whereas Dulife is still sitting around the 120 mark. The one thing for Dulife is he's had these vultures out on the map. He's cleared two bases pretty rapidly. But it looks like he just hasn't been in a place to do anything. He's going to try to ninja expand. A probe disrupting it. At the 1 o'clock location. Pylon blockading. And options are now running out for Dulife. Another Arbiter moving up for potentially an additional recall. Staging up. And here's the thing. Fisheye, even if he gets bad recalls at this stage, he's got such a dominant economic lead that I don't think he has to worry about it. Dropping additional gateways to the north. Just in case. Another big recall. A lot of supply depots to take out here to the north. Again, re-engaging to the south, and this is forcing... Yeah, just complete breach of Dulife space. Dulife still sitting on two bases. And just hasn't even been able to get... Even think about moving out moving out of his base here. All of the siege shanks that were defending near the third moving back to go ahead and clear this attack force out. And I think that might be a sign of frustration from Dulife. I don't know that Fisheye even needs... And seeing those siege shanks out of position, he's going to go for a counterattack. This is where the Supply Depot and Barracks blockading is actually going to be a helpful factor here. EMP clearing a few of these troops. But here's the thing. Fisheye, oh, leaving a couple of these Dragoons back. Doesn't really need to worry about this. As long as he's keeping Dulife off balance, he can continue to just throw these troops out while he happily mines the rest of the map behind this. Siege Tanks unseaged engaging to the south. Big upgrade lead, though, chewing through the rest of it. Now backing out, Dulife has just been shelled up this entire time. Dragoon's finally joining the fray. But Dulife, not quite sure where to commit his troops, going to push back these Dragoons to the north. Lone SCV is still sitting out there. It looks like it did manage to get a probe kill, so it's kind of like the angry SCV. It's like, yeah, I got the probe kill, but I can't build my command center here. Dulife bullying some of these troops out. Not even bothering to defend his natural or his main. At this stage, I think he realizes he's got to get out there 
and slow Fisheye's economy down. Fisheye just needs to get his troops fielded at 177 supply. Eleven o'clock base under threat, but Fisheye counterattacking towards the main. He's happy to sack the bases in the upper left-hand corner if he just wipes out Dulife's main. Plus, he's got reinforcing troops that he can go ahead and mine here. It looks like the probe's going to back off and gather up, just sack that expansion. Wherever, where are the rest of Dul? I mean, Fisheye's got such a supply lead. Where are the rest of his troops? Good stasis there. Now disrupting. And forcing a liftoff of the interior 3 o'clock, mineral only. And despite Dulife taking out this base and maybe cleaning up some troops here in the upper left, I expect this still to be GG. As shortly, Dulife is no longer going to be mining. And Fisheye is still going to be, regardless of all this, at two bases. And he still hasn't moved out attack forces to go ahead and clear out what's left there. Fisheye staging up. Troops now going for the pincer attack. Siege tanks are boxed in. An EMP whiffing. Maybe catching a zealot. That is going to be it for the attack forces in the upper left-hand corner. Vultures sweeping up. Laying some mines is an afterthought. Dragoons hanging out over that mineral only. This game is over. Looking for the GG from Dulife. Needs to repair that burning command center. Or else he's going to end up losing it. Just trying to force it out there. Kind of an afterthought for Fisheye to just gather up his troops and A-move. Losing some Dragoons. It looks like some troops not quite grouped up for this attack. Finally repairing that command center as it floats. Distance mining otherwise. And Fisheye pressing in. Clearing out what's left. Yeah, not really even bothering to micro it looks like. Just staying on top of his macro. Zealots joining the fray, clearing everything else out. Dulife just trying to wear his opponent out, I assume, at this stage, potentially frustrated by the opener. Command center, under fire. There's GG, finally. So Fisheye going to take the series lead, 2-1. to one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Moving on to game four shortly. Thanks for listening.